This part of my life is called peace. Who's responsible for installing that light pole? I'm not gonna lie, hearing you talk, you're a little sassy, so I do have questions before we proceed okay. and continue. Yeah, let's hear it. Okay. okay. Question, yeah. <clears throat> so first off, um, you said you're in accounting, finance? Yeah, so I'm a professional What's accountant. your approximate salary? You want to know how much I make? Mm -hmm. Approximate. Oh, wow. Just I an mean, approximate. I, I know it's the internet, so you don't have to say the specifics, yeah, but like a I'm, range. Just a range. I mean, you can probably go and Google on Glassdoor. I'm not going to reveal my my finances in a public setting in this, in this manner. I just, it's a private matter. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I, pre I prefer people who don't look at money as a criteria to get to know somebody. Who do? That's why she popped in. Well, I prefer a provider type and who I know if I like you, if we continue to date and marry, I want to be able to make sure that you can provide for me and our future children, their college education, and anything else that they need so that they never have to worry about finances or money ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. When I when I look at somebody, money's not the first thing that crossed my mind. So it's okay that you popped your thing. It's okay. All right. That's the same exact thing women say to NBA players and NFL players years before they divorce them and take half their money or more. Sleep with anyone outside your partner. Who would it be? The first thing that came to my mind was his best friend, which feels bad. What? That does not surprise me. And honestly, I don't even know why it surprises you so much, bro. It shouldn't. Not with these modern women out here. If there are 8 million people on Earth, then how does Christian Ronaldo have 400 million followers on Instagram? Isn't that concerning? If there's 10 billion people on Earth and Elon Musk has $200 billion, can't he just give each person 1 billion? And here's the twist. He will still have $190 billion left over. Isn't that concerning? If England is six hours ahead of America, why can't they just tell us the future? Aren't they in the future? Isn't that concerning? This has to be a parody or something because they all end their question with, isn't that concerning? So I think they trolling is just for the content. It can't be true. Like if they're really serious, I'm scared. Do you fuck with bitches that got felonies? Okay, and then if I go down, you gonna hold me down or no? Cuz I'm like, I need a nigga that's gonna hold me down if I go down. I ain't gonna lie, mama. Make sure money on my books. Visit me, take my calls like that, you feel me? You taking a charge for him? I got felonies already. I ain't taking no charge. He, if I said I just need a nigga that's gonna hold me down. I got you. All right. You know, it just, I mean, you, what? Pass. After everything he went through, I'm surprised he still comes out in public flexing like that. And I ain't a car person, number, that look like a Lamborghini. Did you know that a Rolls Royce is actually 70 to 80 percent of the parts of a BMW 750? Most people don't know that BMW owns Rolls Royce, which means my Rolls Royce Ghost that I spent six hundred thousand dollars on is owned by an 80 percent the same as a BMW 750, which is only a hundred thousand dollars. If you take apart my Rolls Royce, you'll find parts inside of it that literally say BMW on it. You want to talk about the genius of branding and marketing? Nothing greater than the fact that I know it and still refuse to not have that Rolls Royce simply because it says RR on it says a lot. No, it says a lot because bees attract to honey. That's why you was willing to pay $600,000 for a car that drive on the road just like a $1,000 car, $2,000 car. How dumb are men? No lashes, all natural. Okay, I'll give you. Maybe she doesn't have fake lashes on, but she, this is not fucking natural. Like this woman has a full face of makeup on and I'm not saying she's not pretty. She's beautiful with or without the makeup. She is a freaking beautiful person, stunning, blah, blah, blah. But she's not natural. She has a full face of makeup on. All that I've learned is that if you want to make a man think that you are natural, don't wear lashes, don't do really strong brows and don't have a bright lip. And he's gonna be like, oh my God, you came out of the womb like that. That's so crazy. So you mean to tell me there's a type of makeup that women wear? to fake a natural look now too? Bruh, I don't know what's real anymore, bro. What's y'all women? I don't know what's real anymore. So if you say pop that 
You clapping your hands, you keep clapping your hands at me. I'm telling you so you can say to the people. The people know who I am, gang. Okay, look. I wouldn't be here if I couldn't be here. Nah, we not said. He's saying for the people that don't know. Oh, like, like I don't like know. If I, uh, if I, I tell him, either. hold on, hold on. If I tell him right now, who is you? Let him know. He gonna be like, I'm break baby. What? That's what I'm just saying. popping yeah, it. Pop your I, the people know he's why. telling you to pop your. Yeah. Yeah. You, he's yeah. giving you the opportunity. But you talking to me like I'm trying to play with you, and that's not the case. Because if I'm playing, you gonna know. You kind of like playing with me by. I ain't playing. I ain't never playing. Okay. I don't do no come. Come on, bro. Look. Hey, that. I don't Listen. do no plan. Listen, I don't you know. don't do no plan either. What are you yeah. talking about? You know, have a I, I, I just told you to pop me. your No statement. Pop my shit. Pop my shit. Look. What? Pop my shit. Yeah, I'm so, my from myself. Said, on, on some real stuff, that type of situation can easily be diffused if somebody just expresses humility. When that pride and ego get in the way, being disrespected by somebody else or perceived disrespect is the most difficult thing to deal with. But if you don't want things to escalate, that's where logic comes into play and not being overly emotional. You gotta put emotions to the side. Cuz could have easily been like, you know what, bro, I ain't mean it like that. That's not what I meant. I apologize. Let's move on. And if he still wanna keep going, for me, I'm walking out. Like, I'm leaving the interview. He thought she was recording me, but. That level of happiness right there, I wish everybody can experience. That's the, that's the happiest woman I've ever seen almost in my entire life. You guys are brothers and sisters, right? Yes, brothers and sisters. So do you guys like pay attention to um, who's dating who? Like, you know, like who he's dating or who she's dating? Do you guys pay attention or no? a lot of girlfriends. Wait, should I not say that? <laughs> <laughs> now you good. Yeah. How does that make you feel though? Like, does it bother you or no? It will bother me. Mm -hmm. It don't bother me. Me or you? Like, you, you, you. Me? Does, yeah, does it bother you? It don't bother me. Yeah? I'm cool. What about you? Like, if she's, like, dating another guy, like, how does it make... got a lot of boyfriends. I do not. <laughs> don't do that. Not playing, uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's cool to an extent. You know, they they all get a background check, you know? Yeah, size yeah. them up a little. And how do you do that? Like, when you meet them, like... <laughs> gotta catch them in the right moment, you know? Should ignite them. Well, what do you look for? <laughs> like, huh? what, do you look, what do you look for, like... I mean, I really don't mind as long as, like, he's gotta be a good dude. Yeah? He can't be too... Too ghetto, too gangster. Yeah, yeah. That's good, bro. That's good. Aggressive. Hell yeah. I don't think about it. Hell yeah. I can almost guarantee you that he's the younger brother and she's the older sister. Because the older brother, he ain't, he ain't having that. As far as being okay with his sister dating different guys, he like that, that he's way too protective. Most older brothers are way too protective. But the younger brothers, they be a little bit more cooler because they're not as protective as the older brothers. Because she was always telling him what to do when they was growing up. I feel like every time I'm interested in somebody and I start talking to them, I always try to be the most me that I am so that they get to, you know, get to be with me. And why do I feel like every single time I'm just that thing that they pick up at the grocery store? They're like, yeah, this looks good. And then right when they get to the checkout, the register, they're like, actually, can you get this in the back? Maybe next time. And I know everybody's just going to say, well... That's not going to be the case for the person that is actually meant for you because the person that's meant for you will see every single thing about you and love it and appreciate it and da 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 and like want to be with you because of that. But like, why that happens to me too often? Like, am I not supposed to feel broken after that? Like, am I just supposed to carry on? Like, you know what? They're just not meant for me, and that's okay. Like, it's not okay. I, is there something wrong with me? Like, I don't understand. You know, when women cry about things like this, my first instinct is to feel bad for them, is to have sympathy, have empathy for them. Because just the human side of me, but the logical side of me be like, nah, you keep making the same decisions, you're going to keep getting the same results. Y'all women, y'all are terrible at choosing men. If you immediately introduce the guy you're talking to to your older brother or your dad or somebody like that, I can almost guarantee you, you'll waste less time. There ever been a guy you wanted that you weren't able to get? No. So why do women complain about men when women are the ones choosing to be men? That's a good point. That is a good point. I've dated a lot of men. <laughs> I've touched men. I haven't dated them. I have. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't matter what cultural background somebody comes from. Women are just, <laughs> in general, are just really terrible at picking men. Because if y'all can have anybody y'all want, 
But y'all continuously make bad choices with men and then complain. I was trying to see, did you guys have uh... oh, no, that's me over there. Huh? What the fuck? What? No. no, I had a question about I had a question about no. this. No! What? Who are you? What? No, what? It's me. What about it? What? <laughs> Bro, it's hot. Are you okay? Yeah, it's What's... cute. What are you talking? Oh, this. Yeah. Oh. That looks stupid. This you? I think so. That's me. I just had a question about this. This is crazy. My mom gave me this shirt. Who? My mom. She gave me this shirt. Girl. You said no? You tell me. This this body is for you. <laughs> this is crazy. Am I? Wait. You're turning red, bro. What? what? I don't see the problem for this. My mom just threw me this shirt this morning. You know, geeking out. Dude. Out of all the random things in the world, that's probably the most random thing for somebody to show up at a store that you're working at with a picture of you. <laughs> with a picture of you on their shirt. To be honest, you was a little of age, so I'm gonna just you have to pass. You're 25. Yeah, I'm grown as hell. It's giving pushing care, in your 30s 30s now. You're right. supposed to have that. No, it's not, no, it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, like, I'm, I'm 22. <laughs> the female psychology behind that is that had nothing to do with his age it had everything to do with the fact that she was probably most likely offended at him he probably passed up on her before she ain't like that so she tried to make him feel bad about being 25 years old which is not even old that was probably the best that she could do because if she could find something else she would have insulted him another way most likely the main purpose of that was to get him thinking that he was inadequate and women are really good at that when they're offended at you trying to Figure out how to make you feel bad about yourself. Which well, ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Thank you so much for saying that I'm pretty. Um, but I would like everyone that sees this video to get a good look at my face. Like, really look at my face. I do not look like Oprah. I don't look like that lady. And a lot of people say that. And they're like, oh, you're the light-skinned version. Or you're the pretty version of Oprah. I do not look like that woman, y'all. You do. You, you you do look like her. You do look like her. Hold on, hold on. Before y'all say anything, just grab a paper, and y'all just y'all don't gotta talk. Y'all can just you know, flip it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. flip it. Okay. <laughs> you flip, flip it, flip it. Oh, oh, wait, wait, y'all looking at the wrong, y'all looking at the wrong side. Hold on, flip it, flip it again. Wow, what's wrong? Wait, hold on, flip it. No, no, not, not flip it that way. Flip it over. The, why y'all telling me no? Yeah, no, hold on. Why y'all telling me no? What's the problem? What I did? Hold on. I didn't ask for it. Hold on. I'm a what? I'm one of the... I'm still trying to figure out if that's a bonnet on her head, a do-rag, or is that her weave? I, 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 I don't know what that's on her, on top of her head. There's women out there that will walk away from a good man to my, oh, he wanted to go half on rent. He wanted to go half on Facts. Like you're, you, that is, you know how fatuous and, and, and name that is to say he wanted to go half. First of all, you are responsible for 100% of your life as an adult. 100% of your problems, 100% of your bills, 100% of your stress, and you mean to tell me you had a man right there like, I'll take half of that from you. Mm -hmm. And you was like, that ain't good enough. Right. Damn. I want you to take it all. I don't want to have no responsibility as an adult. And that is financial and that is uh, feminine manipulation. Mm -hmm. Fellas, you need to walk away. And I've said this before, one of the weirdest things to me is when a grown woman said that she wants a man to provide for her. It's weird to me because those who need to be provided for typically cannot provide for themselves. But women can provide for themselves. So it's just so weird, bruh. 